I've worked in the trade at CW Fletcher's and Fletcher Robinson for just over 50 years. What you're going to see being made is a dessert spoon. The material is sterling silver, which is 925% pure silver. It is hand forged all the way through. That blank eventually becomes a spoon. There's a book which we have all the weights uh, set out. And the starting weight is 30 troy ounces. The silver bar is then cold, forged and marked off. The shorter section will be the bowl and the longer section will be the handle. The silver, after it's been cold forged, will be annealed with a gas and air torch. When the colour changes to a cherry red, then you will pick it up in tongs, carry it over to the anvil and commence the forging of it. Any hotter than that, and hit by a hammer, the silver would disintegrate. You can see him shaping up and you can see what looks very similar to a spoon already. And the secret of hand forging is really when you're moving your piece of silver around the anvil, you keep the hammer bouncing on the anvil. Subsequently, that means that you do not have to start lifting a hammer up from the bottom of the stroke. You've already partly there with bouncing the hammer. David compares the piece of silver as he gradually forges it out with a, a copper pattern. Some of them are probably over a hundred years old. As the silver is worked, it gets harder and harder. Subsequently, he has to keep annealing that. Sometimes, for such as a dessert spoon, it might be three times he has to anneal it is gradually lengthening the shank with the peel of the hammer. The peel is a narrow bit on the hammer which allows you to stretch silver out quicker than using the full face. The advantage of hand forging is primarily to make sure that you've got the silver exactly where you need it most, namely on a spoon round the edges of the bowl and on the point of the bowl. Here in the press, uh, David is putting dies in to create the tail or heel which goes on the back of the bowl. They're using an hydraulic press or coining press. This now shows David, after he's hammered it out to the scale, putting the original scale on for size and shape, and he will fetch all the excess metal over hanging that scale down so that it fits exactly to the bowling push that we're going to use later. We go on to the shank or the centre of the handle. We then come on to the bowling process. The hammer is lifted off the bottom of the cup so you can pour the molten tin into the cup up to the depth required with the bowling punch. When the tin solidifies, the bowling punch has created a female and a male die. Here you will now see Kevin bend the spoon in the bottom of the shank near the bowl. Even though this process is done by hand, you should be able to put a dozen spoons perfectly into one another. Following the actual bending or setting of the spoon, Kevin will clamp up the spoon with the bowl uppermost to make sure that from back to front, as you look across, it is as flat and as straight as possible. This process is known as striking off. After striking off, the spoon then returns to the forge. Fire in this spoon is fetched out and buffed before we stamp the pattern. After stamping the pattern onto the top end, the forger will then take off all excess metal, particularly round the top of it, to enable him to size it. After the process of cleaning up the backs of the spoons, they are then sent to the assay office. The assay office will check on the standard of metal to make sure that it comes up to the standard to be called sterling silver. 
they will then put the marks in on the back of the handle to prove to a customer that that particular spoon is up to the standard of material. Once the spoon or spoons come back from the assay office with the hole mark, the filers will then shape down the handle, clean up the back of the bowl, bend the top end. It is then ready for the buffing shop. Buffs are usually made of compressed wool and the substance that they use is pumice, which is powdered volcanic ash mixed in with vegetable oil. Uh, the object of buffing is a process to make the finishing operation easier by taking it down from a filed surface to a fairly smooth surface. The piece then moves on to our finishing shop which puts on the bright shine people associate with polished silver. So as you can imagine from a piece of bar up to a finished spoon of this nature uh, the finishing has got to be top class. To lose these sort of trades would be a tragedy.